Hi everyone, my name is Jai, and I just want to share with you this login page. The login page is the first target of malicious people or hackers by using the internet, so I want to share with you what I did against to the bad guys on the internet. Hackers use applications with the data dictionary, for quick comparison of users' passwords. The contents of the data dictionary are lists of different passwords. So our login page, is one of the target channels for accessing private accounts. Now we open the index.php files, here we write the codes for the text box of the username, password and the sign in button. At the top, we have a start session, so we can read the content of our session variable, for the app login. So we can check if we are logged in or not. We use a binary value of 1 and 0, when the value is 1, we redirect the page to which it is successfully logged in, and 0 the value we return to the login page. This is our text box for username, and this is for the password text box. Then the sign in button. When we click on our sign in button we will call the submit.php page. Let's open our submit.php file. Here we will put all the system's validation. Let me explain. Above we still have a start session function. Next we will get the server date. Then we will check the value in our session variable of log attempts. If greater than and equal to 3, we'll go inside. And we check the of log attempt state, if it is empty. We will fill in the server date, so that we can get the time value. It is important that we get 1 hour value because we blocked him for 1 hour if the 3 times made a mistake. Let's put a lot of validations. The first thing we put in is the basic validations, such as, exceeded the number of login attempts. What is a brute force attack? According to Kaspersky.com, the brute force attack is, a brute force attack uses trial and error to guess login info, encryption keys, or find a hidden web page. Hackers work through all possible combinations hoping to guess correctly. These attacks are done by brute force meaning they use excessive forceful attempts to try and force their way into your private accounts. This is an old attack method, but it's still effective and popular with hackers. Because depending on the length and complexity of the password, cracking it can take anywhere from a few seconds to many years. Now, for example we get the encrypted password value from our database, let's compare the input value with the encrypted password, if it is not the same, let's write in the session variable log attempts, add a value for incremental. If the username and password input is incorrect, we will only write to session variable log attempts, until it reaches 3 incorrect attempts, we will redirect him for an hour to the error page. When the username and password input is correct, we will redirect him to the page with successfully logged in. On this page we will put the welcome message for users. And we will also put our sign out button, so that we can return to the login page. By clicking the sign out button, we will call the process.php file. Let's open the process.php file and here is the destroy session and unset session, to delete all the session values of our users. After deleting, redirect our user to the login page. We will put the link of this exercise, in the description section of the video. 
And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, just hit the subscribe button and include the bell icon to be updated on our new videos.